Good morning, ladies. Today we're going to be making the card that we ma I made in Stamp Club this month. Um, I will have to say I cased this card. It was a card that I got from um, a swap at convention. It was different colors, so I changed it up, and I do not have the name of who to give credit for. Um, but anyway, love the card, so I did it for my club. So let's get started with this. First of all, we're going to take the measurements. Our first piece is Early Espresso, and it is five and a half by eight and a half. Our next piece would be our Old Olive, and it is four inches by four and a quarter. Our last piece is um, the Crumb Cake, which used to be um, what we called our, um, um, oh, my mind just went back, Craft. So this one is three and three quarters by five. Okay, so let's get started with this. First thing we're going to do is fold our base card in half. Place that down really well. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and attach our old olive to the base here. Got that going? Okay, now we're going to get um, just a scrap piece of paper. <clears throat> Let me show you what we're going to do here, what stamp work set we're going to use. This is the stamp set we're using. Um, I borrowed this from my mom. I love this stamp set. I have not bought it yet. It is called Friends Never Fade. I don't know if you can see that. But it's a really good set. Um, I saw a lot of things made with this at convention, and I've really fallen in love with it. All we're going to do is use this little stamp here. And we need one green. And bring my cleaner over here. And we need two brown flowers. All right. Then we're going to take our square punches. The first one we're going to take to punch the flowers out is the one um, and one quarter punch. And we're going to punch these little guys out. There we go. Then we just need a little bit of scrap paper. <clears throat> and we're going to use the one and three eighths inch punch for the border, the background of these. So I need to punch out two browns and one old olive. I'm gonna go ahead and attach all these pieces together and set them aside. So we'll get these going. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is stamp our words. Let's lay this over here. We're going to stamp our words. The set I use for our words, um, I don't use it a lot, but I really like it. It's called Wonderful Favorite Favorites. And what it is, it's just a bunch of different, um, I say bunch of people stamps. All the different words, aunt, uncle, husband, wife, son, daughter. Um, and then it's got the word favorite and wonderful. So we're going to get wonderful, and then let's see, let's do just friend, that's a generic stamp. All right, when you're stamping words like this that are going to connect up to make two different things, always stamp your, um, the one that's farthest to your right, otherwise if you go and stamp this and you don't have room for your other word, you're going to have to start over. So, this way we make sure that we have plenty of room for both of our stamps. All right, the next thing, we're going to put a piece of, this is our um, <clears throat> early espresso, um, and this is, um, love this ribbon, it's just a really silky um, satin ribbon. Um, as you notice on this one, I did the old olive on this one, I was going to show you with the green. 
I'm just going to put a couple little pieces of tape on here. And let's get this. The hardest thing I think about any card I make is getting my rivet on straight. So, if you do this little trick, it saves you a lot of ribbon. You could take this ribbon and tie it around the entire card, but it's just going to take a lot more ribbon. So I do that. Then I come under here. And just give me one good snug fit right there. And then I've got a great little bow without using a ton of my ribbon. Okay, so there's that. We will go ahead and attach this to the card. I always reinforce when I'm putting on um, ribbon when it's underneath so it makes sure it doesn't fall off. All right, let's put this on here. Then the last thing we have to do is just add a few little pop dots. Oop, and I've got three left on here before I have to start using my scraps. Put these on. And just a little trick here. When you've got things where you've got to put um, three on, um, I'm gonna layer this one over here on the side first. Then I'm going to get this one on the same distance from top and bottom. And then the next one will just fit right in the center. And even if there's more space in between, it's still going to look like you meant to do that because it's going to be all centered. So there is a very simple, quick, easy, but very elegant card. And with the words, you can make this anything you want. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Toodles.